Six are present. We have a quorum. Uh, the first item on the agenda is. Can we have silence, please? Okay. First item on the agenda is uh, the approval of the minute from, minutes from the previous meeting. Uh, I ask for a motion to approve the May 26, 2015 meeting minutes as presented. Great. And waive the reading, correct? All right. So the minutes for uh, the March May 26. Um, regular meeting. Marcia made the motion to approve the reading, I mean the minutes as presented and to do the reading. Uh, is there a second to Marcio's motion? I second it. Dove seconds, okay. And uh, is there any objection? The minutes are approved. The next item is Next item on the agenda is uh, the president's message. And let me pull it up here. Just give me a moment. Good evening. First of all, I'd like to thank all the unit owners who have contacted management in the last few weeks regarding the Wilma Special Assessment Early Payoff Bonus. The office has received about 50 inquiries so far from unit owners interested in paying off their Hurricane Wilma Special Assessment balance. And a number of owners, including myself, have already reaped the substantial savings available during the month of June. In the case of my one-bedroom unit, those savings will add up to about $436 for a two-bedroom unit owner, those for saving will be um, over, well over $600. By paying off your special assessment three years early, you are not only saving yourself hundreds of dollars, but you are helping the association reduce its debt with Wells Fargo, for which we thank you. For those of you who haven't taken advantage of this opportunity as yet, there's still time, but you must act by June 30. That's June 30. Just visit the association office or call 954-484-9106. Again, that number is 954-484-9106. Or send an email to manager at intlvillage.com. Again, that's manager at intlvillage.com. And you can find all these emails and phone numbers in your mailroom as well. And the subject line for that email should be Wilma Payoff 
and please include your name, phone, and unit number. And David will get back to you regarding what your balance is and how much you will save by paying it off now versus later. On another topic, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank former board member Jerry Murrow for making a generous donation of $3,000 toward the association's ongoing building renovations project, which has allowed us to begin renovations in the Zurich building. Jerry isn't here today, but please give him a big round of applause, everybody. Thank you, Jerry. So if anybody else is interested in making a donation to spend, to, I'm sorry, if anybody else is interested in making a donation to speed up the renovation work in your building, we'd be more than happy to accept your gift. It's not tax deductible, though, I apologize. Uh, but ju just talk to David after the meeting, and he'll be happy to uh, arrange that for you. And on that note, I'd like to wish everybody a very happy and safe 4th of July. And now let's get on with the rest of the meeting. And the next item, I believe, is the treasurer's report. Um, who, who's giving the treasurer's report today? Uh, is, did anybody prepare for the, if not, then David, could you so, sort of just go through the financials for us? Okay, and now that will do is for the treasurer's report. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the current month-to-date total payroll expenses is under budget by eleven thousand eight hundred fifty-one dollars. The actually, current actually, uh, David, um, yes. since, since we, we want to get through this as quickly as possible, could you just read like the bottom line as far as what the savings are this month Certainly. The and what the savings are to date? That way, okay. sure. The current month-to-date total expenses is under budget by. $37,280. That's great. And the current year-to-date total expenses is under budget by $117,000. That's excellent. Wonderful. Thank you, David, for a job well done on, on saving so much money. And uh, the next item on the agenda, actually stay out there because I believe the next one is you, manager's report. And, and David, could you give us an update on the Axon thing too? Um, yeah. If it's not already in there. Yeah, it is. Okay, um, okay regarding Axon, um, we had received a new contract and a finance agreement. The down payment was given. The machines, as you see, there's two demos, a washer and a dryer in the lobby. And um, they're sitting in the warehouse okay for the uh, company that we purchased them from however there is a little bit of a snafu with axon they were sent a certified letter telling them to remove their machines by the end of this month and this was sent last month they are refusing to abide by that letter we've had the association's attorney send them a letter they're still telling us too bad they're not going to remove the machines until july 31st so the new machines won't be in until the end of july beginning of august um, and and, I, and we're told that by, by the company that we're purchasing the new units from that this is actually common. Unfortunately, these companies are very rarely cooperative. They don't like, you know, when we terminate their contract and they're vengeful at the end. And even though we met the 30-day requirement, because it didn't say it had to be by, by certified mail, we emailed them the requirement uh, two, uh, 32 days actually, something like that, before. Right. Um, but, but they said, but at the same time, we sent a letter, and they claimed that because the letter arrived, uh, you know, on oh, June fifth, or June fifth, that they're claiming that they didn't get the notice in time. But there, there's no provision in the contract that says it had to be by by mail. So they they they're literally just you know playing games. But unfortunately, the the way that these people get away with it is because they know that it's more expensive for us to litigate and try to get an eviction notice on them. Uh, it's something like, I think we were given the figure of like 3,000 to get the eviction notice, and it still takes almost a month to get them evicted, so they all do that, unfortunately. So uh, as a result of that, we may have to, maybe, you know, the only thing we can do is really let people know, um, take advantage of, of things like Better Business Bureau, uh, the, the, the other websites like yellowpages.com, to let people know about this particular company and the games they play so they can avoid them. But as far as litigating, it would actually cost us more mm -hmm. to try to force them out, unfortunately. And if we try to remove the machines, then we could be sued for damaging the machinery. 
So again, they know that they know that, and that's how they get away with it. They know they can do this. So, so we, don't, we'll, we don't have a contract with them. We do have a contract with them. As it's as terminated as well. technically, but they're claiming it's not. You know. All right, so we can use the money on our card a little longer. That's all. That's, that's correct. correct. Yes. Yeah. So it's a, so David, could you no, please? Not uh, a piggy. No, I understand that, but but just just I think that you know also everyone is aware of it, mm -hmm. and and we will you know put in a complaint with the Better Business Bureau, but that's all we can do because it's not worth it, as you say. It's not a biggie, but still, it's 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 really dishonest. And it's their way of extending their contract. So David, could you please prepare an updated notice, uh, send it to me for approval, and then remove all the, all the notices that are up there so people know not to throw away their card. That's the most important thing. Um, so let's see, what what is the, the next item on your, go ahead, okay. finish your manager's report. All right, just a few more items. Um, Fire Ranger has uh, performed their annual inspection and certification of all the fire extinguishers on the property, and I included the reports in your management uh, report. Uh, the new security golf court was ordered and should be here by the end of next week. Uh, Beachorama located and repaired two leaks in the large outdoor pool. However, there is still a small third leak that they have to come back and find and repair. Um, <clears throat> Century Security performed their annual inspection and certification of the Bordeaux and Nottingham buildings. And maintenance has ordered the new metal downspouts necessary to repair and replace the deteriorating uh, ex, uh, existing downspouts on some of the buildings. And one last thing, the IT department has completed the installation of the new security camera systems in the Interlochen and Grenoble buildings. And I believe he started on the St. Moritz today. Uh, he wanted to start on the Marseille, but it's a different building configuration than the others, and it's difficult uh, because of where the elevator is. So he's going to have to rethink how to do that one. But in the meantime, we started on a building that was familiar, uh, that they, you know, same style of building as the others. So he started on that today. Okay. That's it. Thank you. Um, thank you, David. There, there are no items from your report that require a vote, correct? That's correct. So the next item is the sales and leasing report. Okay. Um, and, uh, yeah. Um, ready? Yes. Okay, good evening, everybody. I tried to speed it up. Okay, so for the period um, closing on June 16, or from the period from May 20th to June 16th, we have the following, following transactions. Uh, we have eight leases. Um, a, seven of, eight of those were approved, was, one was declined. S2N, one bedroom, 1,200, approved. S2R, there's a studio for 1,050, approved. I2J, two bedroom, 1,300, approved. And to S2K, S2K, one bedroom, 925, approved. N1W, two bedroom, 1,300 approved. Uh, Y1W, two bedroom, 1,200 decline. B2V, two bedroom, 1,250 approved. Z1N, one bedroom, 900 approved. Uh, in addition, we, uh, 24 rollovers were submitted and processed from May 20th in, uh, to June 16th. Um, all of the rollover leases were approved. Uh, and then, in addition to that, we had uh, four purchases. Um, Z3E, this is a two bedroom and was sold for 65,000 uh, in the form of a cash payment. Uh, O3T, two bedroom for 77,500. Is this is uh, partially financed and partially cash. O1F purchase, one bedroom, 41,000 cash purchase approved. M3U, uh, one bedroom for 50500 uh, It was also a cash purchase. And then um, I have the report for all the rentals that the association collects. Uh, we collected this term uh, for the month of June, actually, $3,500. And I'd like to tell the board that unfortunately the bank foreclosed on one of our units, Z3B. Uh, the tenant uh, whose lease was supposed to end in October was basically forced by the bank to 
to vacate the unit. So we are not going to be able to collect rent for the month of July on. Okay. Uh, however, we have one unit that is going to be ready to be on the market. Uh, Z3R, the Cine Studio, and I'd like to recommend the board to rent uh, said unit for $800. And that's any questions from the audience? No? Okay. Board? You're welcome. Okay, so we need a motion to approve the minutes. I'm um, sorry, not the minutes, the uh, sales and leasing report, um, and to ratify all the actions taken by the sales and leasing committee. Um, contained in that report. Uh, do I hear a sub? Okay, so Marcio makes the motion, and do we have a second? I'll, I'll second it. Uh, and any discussion? Any objection? Hearing none, the motion is approved. Okay, the next item is the next item is the 40 year certification part three. Uh, David, would you like me to explain that or um, do you have, okay, I'll explain it. The 40 years, uh, as many of you recall, we had the first two parts of the 40 year certification that were due last year and we completed them. Uh, because the way that it works is when the buildings uh, are 40 years old, calculated from the time that they come on the tax rolls, they're then due for the 40 year. However, this uh, particular community was built over a couple of years. So the first 10 already came due last year and we completed that process, but the final two came online in 1975. So as a result, we have two more to go this year. The Zurich and the Nottingham, which were the last two built, hence they're the last two numbers, um, 36, 50 and 30, no, sorry, 37, right, I'm sorry, 3750 and 3760, those were the last two that were built in 1975, so they're now due for the 40-year certification. We haven't actually gotten the letters from the, from the city yet, but we did get an email from them telling us that to expect them by the end of this month. So rather than wait until our next regular meeting, a month from now, to begin the process, I felt that it should be on this agenda so that we could at least provisionally approve it and say, we, we approve it pending the letter. Um, not sign any contract until the letter arrives, but since they're telling us to expect it, any day now, may as well do it now. So I, I'll ask for a motion to, um, I'm sorry, David, could you tell us who the person is uh, that, or the, I'm um, sorry, the, the contractor is, the engineer is, who's, off, who's uh, put in a proposal? The engineer is the same engineer who did the other buildings. That's Murat Kizikli. He's a licensed PE. Uh, and this is his proposal for the 40 year certification for the Zurich and the Nottingham. It's $1,500 each building for a total of $3,000. So it's the same price as all the other Same price as the other buildings. And um, as far as, you know, as far as we don't have to do competitive bidding when it's under, uh, I think it's 10% of the budget. So this is 10 way of the budget. Under, this is 3,000. Yep. So there's no need to get another engineer. Um, he's done a good job on all the rest. So we feel that it would be uh, advisable to continue using them for these two. So I need a motion essentially to, uh, to approve the, uh, the, I mean, to accept his proposal for 3,000. Exactly, okay, so the, Marcia just made the motion to uh, accept the proposal from, what's the name of the company again? Uh, it's Murat. Kizikli P. Kizikli. Okay, engineer, okay. So, and it's, what's the initials for, for engineer? PE. PE, okay. 40 year certification, to accept the 40 year certification engineering proposal from Murat Kizikli PE, pending, uh, pending, pending receival of the 40 year letter from the city. That was Marcio's motion. Um, do I hear a second? I'll, I'll second it. I'll second that one. Um, and uh, is there any discussion on the board? about that. Any, any questions from the uh, audience, from the membership? What is the $1,500 for him to say that there's nothing wrong but cosmetics? No, the $1,500 is for him to actually perform a comprehensive engineering assessment um, of the building. And give us a report. Basically, and give us a report, yes. Basically, it's fit. 
That's his, that's his fee for a building, yes. And he says everything is structurally perfect. Well, we don't know yet what he's going to say because it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> How about the buildings that we paid for already? That's happened. Yes, because they well, were. Is there any problems with structure? No. Well, okay. with those buildings, that there was not. Okay. Um, and but but as I said, we, we can't we can't you know we can't set tell tell you yes or no until he's completed these these additional um, two buildings. So uh, there, that, if that's the last question, is there any? Objection um, on the board to this motion. Hearing none, it's approved. And um, the next, next item on the agenda is uh, the fine committee recommendations. David, could you take that one? Okay, a fine committee was appointed, and we had two grievance hearings one on June 2nd, the other one on June 4th. And the chairman of the finding committee sent me an email stating that the grievance fines committee has reviewed the two cases that they presided over and have come to a decision in both. In the case involving Miriam Gordon, the committee recommends in a majority vote of three to two to fine her $100 for the violation. In the case involving Jeffrey Edwards, the committee recommends to fine him at the maximum allowed by state law which is $100 per violation, up to $1,000 for failing to comply with the association's documents. Okay, um, David, could you, that, that's very brief. Could you explain what the first one was for? The first violation was for uh, witnessing uh, Miriam Gordon feeding the ducks on the property. Not for witnessing, but actually for feeding the ducks. For actually feeding the ducks, okay. yes. Um, and that's a problem because, you know, it creates a hazard for people. Um, I, I happen to know uh, one particular owner um, some time ago approached me and said that she suffered a severe injury from slipping on the dog, I'm sorry, on the duck poop um, on the walkway. So, so it's a, a duck poop on the walkway. So, so it's, a, it's a serious health hazard. Um, slip and falls also cause liability for the association. In addition to that, um, it, it, cr it creates a road hazard. Uh, there's been more than one occasion where I've seen a dead duck on the road. It's hu inhumane to the ducks, and it's also you know, very nerve-wracking for the drivers, and it could cause an accident by drivers trying to avoid these ducks. The ducks should be left at the, at the lake to, to forage for themselves and not be fed. And unfortunately, if you go to the St. Moritz where, she, where this particular person lives, um, it is surrounded by ducks. Yeah, yeah. And, David, and it's unused. David, David, can I just? Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. I just, want, I just want to ask uh, David a question. Look, hypothetically, if this wasn't a violation of our docs, just devil's advocate, um, is it still somehow a violation? Well, there is a city ordinance, uh, which I quoted in my letter to her. Right. Okay. Uh, and, but that's up to the city if they want to find her or right. not. But the information so will now be so the city ordinance the city. prohibits prohibits feeding of wildlife. Yes. So, so in other words, if it wasn't in, if it wasn't in the docks um, that that we prohibit feeding of the ducks, then it still would be a violation of that's city ordinance. Of city ordinance that obviously supersedes international village. Correct. Does this is there a city ordinance for dogs in private communities? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. So there is a distinction. Absolutely. Okay, just check. Okay, um, so, and on the second one, could you explain that one more thoroughly? The second one stems from um, a breach of the association's documents where you people passed an amendment back in 2010 uh, regarding the cabanas and the, electric, uh, the electricity. Uh, back in 2010, you all voted so that any time a cabana changes ownership, the new owner will now become responsible for their own electric. Right now, you are all paying for their electric, mm -hmm. okay? So the association had an electrician come in, pull a permit, and run all new trunk lines to those eight units, okay? There were meters or cans for where the meters would be, and new panels were put in each unit. Mm -hmm. Except for Dougie. I've never been in it, so I don't know. Yeah. I can only tell you what the 
paperwork says. In any case, uh, Mr. Edwards is aware of all this, and he basically refused to install the electric in his unit. He has been sent numerous letters, two or three certified letters. He still refused to do it. And uh, so this information was brought to the grievance committee, and apparently they have decided to find him the maximum allowable by law. Because he's been actually told how he's many in, times since he's oh, only been here for a year, he's been told repeatedly, time and time again. I have spoken okay, with him on numerous occasions, so, mm -hmm. sent him certified letters. I've been in his apartment with the electrician. Right. And the, okay. uh, electrician, ba ba the electrician basically certifies it that, you know, he Well, he his it. electrician was saying that the panel that was installed mm -hmm. is not it. correct. However, but the city says it is. The city, at the time it was installed, it was all approved and CO'd by the city. I have all the paperwork. Okay. So, so uh, yeah. So basically, again, this is something he's been told for months and months. It's over a Since year. Since I've been now, here, yeah. And he's made no effort to change it. And in fact, um, you know, t t even more galling is this gentleman, uh, Jeffrey Edwards, is a snowbird. He's here six months, gone six months. The last time he left, and I don't know, maybe someone could check back now, but the last last summer, um, I got a call from somebody in the cabana next door, and she couldn't sleep, she said, because this was in the summer. When he wasn't here, he'd left for the six months to go up to um, up north, and the blinds were just slamming so hard against his sliding uh, glass door in the back that it was keeping the next door neighbor awake. So it's like he deliberately, you know, cranked up his AC all the way just before he left to go up north for six months, just to just to be able to like say, just say like screw you to the association. You're gonna pay my electricity for the next six months when I'm not even there, and and the blinds were slamming so hard against the uh, the sliding glass door that the the person living uh, in the cabana next door called me and complained and and said you know I can't sleep because of the blinds slamming against that glass door, just him saying, screw you to the association so we can pay his electric bill. So it's not just that he's not complying, it's he's like giving a big thumbs up to the association and saying, screw you. And he's been doing it for over a year now, since he's had that unit for over a year. So um, again, what you said is essentially that the, the fine committee um, has voted to fine a hundred dollars per violation but i don't know what you mean by provision per month it's a hundred dollars per day per day the, for the single violation it's not per month it's per day it's per day okay so essentially it's up to a maximum of maximum of a thousand maximum of ten days which is a thousand dollars so in other words he needs to to correct it um as soon as possible in less than ten days otherwise it'll, it's going to go to a thousand uh can i ask a question and now before before you do um, we don't have a motion on the table, so I need to make a motion and a second. No, I, I just wanted to find out why couldn't we have cut this, the electricity off before can't, the, because, because you, you, you can't. Up. You can't because all of the cabanas are hooked up to the trunk line. Oh, I see. Okay. So, 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 so the cabanas or well, hold on a second, there. guys. I need. We need to follow decorum. We pass some decorum rules. The decorum is there's a motion and a second, then discussion among the board, and then we open it up to the membership. So let's follow decorum here. Uh, uh, we need him. Also, 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 Okay. Okay. So um, we we need a motion essentially to approve the committee's recommendations. So I asked for a motion uh, essentially to approve the committee's recommendations, which were again a hundred dollars um, in um, in the first case per violation. So if it happens if it happens again, then it'll, it'll go. Up. But right now it's a hundred only for the first one. For the second one, a hundred per day until the violation is remedied. Uh, that, that's the motion that we need to approve the committee's recommendations. So does anybody make that motion? I, I don't hear a, a motion. Do we, do we have a motion? 
Carl, would, you like make, to would, you like Carl would you like to make a motion? Just so we can, we can't have a discussion without a motion. I can't even accept your comment. You understand? Under the decorum rule, unless we have a motion in a second. You understand? Okay, so Carl, can we have a motion? Yes. Set it back. Carl makes the motion. Do we have a second? Um, I'll second for, uh, for discussion. So now we can have, okay, now you. You would have find the guy a thousand dollars. And if you say you can't cut the electricity off, he can just pay the thousand dollars.